you guys, I need help. I've got an addiction. <laughs> I went a little crazy at Sephora. Let's see what I got. The Viral Benefit Flora Tint. I'm so keen to try this. It looks so pretty. The Fenty Beauty Magic Sticks in the shade Amber Suede, which is new. This is a cream contour. And speaking of Fenty, a backup of the Pro Filter Matte Foundation because I love her. I got these Nude Sticks goodies because these are also going viral. The Matte Lip and the Matte Face and Lip. These are like pencils that you can use over your entire face. Intriguing. I also got a backup Benefit Brow Pencil and a backup Roller Liner. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is so much proof. Oh, and his little baby Tarte Eyeshadow Palette. Minis, they just get me, okay? This is the Tartlet Spark Palette and it's so cute. It's also really shimmery. The new Rare Beauty Liquid Blush Shade. Gagging to get my hands on this. It looks like a really pretty warm tone. Ooh, a lipstick and lip liner from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lipstick, which I'm hoping is similar to the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. The Gwen Stefani Mascara. I've heard great things. And the packaging just really is giving. I also really liked the wand. And last but not least, some backups of my favorite skincare. The Biosons Vitamin C Rose Oil, Obsessed. And the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair. My favorite serum ever. Pray for my bank account, guys. But let me know what you want to see a review of first. I went to Sephora and got some new makeup, so let me show you what I got. Starting strong with the Mario or Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. I have been wanting this palette for so long. I used the same naked basics palette over and over. I wanted to switch it up. Patrick Ta Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. This is all that I wear along with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Those two, these are like holy grails, but this one I love because it comes with a powder. So let me show you. Number one, love the packaging, but let me show you how stunning. I love that it comes with a powder. I'm getting ready to travel next month to actually San Diego, California. Um, and I needed to bring a foundation that is easy to compact and travel with that's not heavy liquids. And this one is such a good one because you get your powder and foundation in one. Had to get my fall shade of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation because I needed a paler shade. Summer Fridays, Lip Butter Balm and Vanilla. My girl Jordan Menino has like the best lip combo in the world and she uses this gloss which is the Sephora brand Plump Effect and I got it in the nude shade but I also got a clear one just to have both. These Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencils for like your waterline they are so good. I got one in the color Demolition and then one in Whiskey which is what I wear every day because it's like a brown but this is like a dark brown black so nice for going out don't come off either like you put them on your waterline they never move i always use the pillow talk lip liner it's the one i use every day basically but i got the sec the pillow talk 2 medium it's a little bit darker so i want to switch it up for fall and the never ending lip liners here with the refi lip sculpt and the shade blush this is like unreal this one is insane it doesn't come off it's double sided so one side of it you like set your lip liner and it doesn't come off it's insane i did not even realize this was in my bag I don't know how it got in there, but I have to go return it now. <laughs> and that's it. I'll see you guys. Okay, Sephora. Hi, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I got in the massive Sephora goodie bag from the Westfield Stratford launch. It's so heavy. It has so much stuff in it. So let's just get straight into it. First things first is Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I absolutely love this cream. Never have enough of it. So amazing. Some products from the Inky List. Mm. Oh, this is like a finishing mist and a moisturizing mist. We have Olaplex number eight. I've heard of Medicaid. I'm quite excited to try this serum. We have a one size eyeliner. Ooh. We have some Drunk Elephant. I actually haven't tried Drunk Elephant before and I've been dying to try their products. So yeah, I'm going to be using this today. We have something from NARS. Power Matte Lipstick in American Woman. I'm actually going to see what this is like right now. Ooh. Look how pretty this shade is. Yummy Skin. Blurring Balm Finishing Powder. I was not expecting this to look like this. Oh, that's stunning. That's so interesting. It dries down to like a powder. Very, very subtle blushed colour it gives. I love that. My favourite cleansing balm, Elemis. Cannot go wrong with this balm. Oh, we have a Tarte starter set. This would be a great little Christmas set to give to somebody. <gasps> it's tiny. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't want to use it. But it's so tiny. Oh, it's balmy. It doesn't look like it would be a balm, but it is. And I love it. We have a Mario Badescu facial spray. Oh, Sunday Riley. We have a glyconic acid treatment. Color Wow. Daily Luna, the everywhere wash. 
some Kerastase oil. Oh, we have Paula's Choice, a cleansing balm. I actually haven't tried Paula's Choice before, so I'm actually quite excited to try this. <gasps> Glossier. Don't you just love Glossier's packaging? Let's give it a swatch. It's like red, but also corally. Next, we have something from The Ordinary, multi-peptide HA serum. What is it? Oh, we have Rem Beauty. I've not tried Rem Beauty, so this is exciting. Liquid shadow. It's giving wet look. Like, I'm not the kind of person that actually likes eyeshadow. This looks like it'd be the perfect subtle kind of shimmer. Glow Recipe, I love this brand so much. Their packaging is so cute. The Hyaluronic Plumping Cream. Love it. Wasn't expecting this much skincare. I was expecting more makeup. Oh, Bioma, a good favorite. Grande Cosmetics Mascara. Of course, a Sephora mask. Eyeliner from Danessa Myricks. Something from Ren. We have an elixir. I love elixirs. So I'll be looking forward to trying this. Guys, that is everything that came in this massive Sephora bag. I'm so, so grateful to be able to go to events like this. I'll be using a lot of this stuff in some of my videos coming up to give you guys some reviews. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hi guys, so I have a huge um, Sephora haul. Let's get into it. So I went to three different Sephora's to get all this. So in the first bag, I have this cute little like lip set from Charlotte Tilbury. It's got lip liner, it's all pillow talk, highlighter, and then lipstick with glosses. My second stop, I got the Tarte Mary Cucci um, lipstick things in rose and hibiscus. And then I got the Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume. Lastly, this was my third stop in the big bag. I have a um, Prada candy perfume. These are both in the biggest sizes that they have, the perfumes. And then this one, it's just the Sol de, oops, that's my receipt, Sol de Janeiro kit. I think it's a really good deal, $68. Anywho, um, thanks for watching. Spent a lot of money. I love y'all. Bye, guys. Part two of my massively, disgustingly expensive Sephora haul because I have no chill at all. So like it's actually sad that I feel the need to buy everything that I want, which is not a good way to live life. But anyway, okay, so we got the Patrick Ta um, Contour Duo and then the Dior Concealer. We got two Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Press Powders and then this like Lip Glaze Duo by In Beauty. And we have a lot to tackle in here. Okay, so let's go quick. Um... Oh, I forgot I got this. I got the Gisu Gisu lip oil. Um, I'm wearing two different lip products right now, so I don't think I'm gonna try this on. Maybe in a different video. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this, but it's cute, and I was like, F it, I kinda want it, so I got that. Um, what else? Oh, I restocked my Sephora setting spray because you guys know I love to drench my face in setting spray, and I'm like all out of my setting sprays, and this is $13, and it's the best one ever, so. What else do we get? Um, then I had exchange. I got this like last week, but the like top part that sprays it out was broken. So I just exchanged it. The Kosas um, Plump and Juicy. I've only used this twice so far. So I don't know if it's like done anything to my skin, but I don't know. I hear good things about it and it's $50. Okay, then um, I was with my boyfriend, and it's his birthday soon, and he's not a beauty insider, and I'm like, oh, I want a free birthday gift from you. His birthday's in September. So actually, one of the ladies was like, oh, are you a VIB insider? Um, or no, a beauty insider? Yeah, VIB. Yeah, why well, I just have to second guess that? Anyways, and he's like, no, and I'm like, oh my god, sign up, and she wanted him to sign up. So he signed up, and then I got this um, way set, and it actually now includes the St. Bart's cleanser. Did it always do that? The St. Bart's um, from Way is, oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, then she gave me an F ton of samples, like this, hold on, this, like she gave me every sample that they had um, in this huge container, so we got the Dermalo Dermalogica cream um i guess and then also from dermalogica she gave me the daily microfolian and then we got a jvn conditioner um skin fix acne gel jvn scalp oil and then this is what i'm most excited about a nude sticks um matte lux blush and like lip thing and i really like the color so never tried anything from nude sticks Okay, but that is everything we got at this Sephora haul. Um, I just dropped that. I need to chill because I have way too much crap and I don't even have enough room for all my makeup. This is insane. Um, 
guys this bag is absolutely full but um i want to do a vanity tour for you guys soon because you guys keep asking but i literally need to organize it because it's like embarrassing like my shit is overflowing on my floor so maybe in like a week i'll have that for you but anyway bye a lot of you commented on my shopping spree video saying that my sephora is really stocked so i went back today and let's see how stocked it really is first i checked the rare beauty blushes and they basically had all of the colors in stock they even had happy and same for the rare beauty liquid highlighter all of the colors were in stock so we're off to a good start I remember when these beauty light wands from Charlotte Tilbury were really popular and was really hard to get, so it was crazy to see all of them in stock here. The original ones and the matte ones were all in stock. The flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury was also really hard to get at one point, but they had every shade except 2.5. I know everyone really likes the Fenty gloss bombs and they were sold out everywhere at some point, but they were fully in stock here and they had basically every color, even the hot chocolate one. I've heard a lot of good things about the Patrick Ta blushes recently and they didn't have all of the colors but they did have most of them. Based on TikTok, it seems like this perfume sampler is really popular and this Sephora had a bunch of them. They also had the cologne sampler but they did not have the Sephora advent calendar. And the last holiday gift set they had is the candle sampler. A few weeks ago, I was trying to buy the Tower 28 SOS spray and they weren't in stock but today they had a bunch of them. I'm personally not a huge fan of the Summer Fridays lip balm, but I know a lot of people really like them and they had every color except the new mint one. I've seen a lot more people using this sculpting stick from Makeup by Mario lately and they had every color in stock except one. And lastly, the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. They actually did not have the bronzy drops or the rosy drops here. Overall, I would say this Sephora is really stocked and I can't complain. It's the one in Union Square, New York City. Hey guys, I have a Sephora haul. So this is a huge Sephora haul. Like, I mean really big. Okay, so first I got this Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser, and I'm going to open it. This is the first time I'm getting this. I just needed, like, a butter makeup remover. Um, So it's like a buttery cleanser that melts your makeup, and it smells so good. Oh, and it also comes with this little thing. I have to search up what it is because I didn't really know what it is. Because it doesn't really say what it is, so I'll search that up. Or one of you guys can tell me in the comments, that will be amazing. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty good amount, and it comes with like a little spoon. It's actually a really great amount for its price. This was $32. And you can just put the spoon back on. Really nice and worth it. So the next thing I got is this Drunk Elephant Body Lotion. This lotion moisturizes your whole like body. And it smells really good. I tried this on in the car because I couldn't like wait to do like a nice haul. But it's such a good lotion and it smells amazing. It smells like flowers. Mm. Next thing I got is this Drunk Elephant Body Lotion again. But this refines your body and moisturizes your body. So this moisturizes your body and this refines and moisturizes your body. So I love these two. This one smells as good as this one. Next from Drunk Elephant, I got the Tangled Spray. Um, So like whenever you get out of the shower, you can put this on your hair and your hair will be like untangled. Or like whenever your hair is tangled, you can just spray this on your hair and it will be untangled. So I really love that. Next thing I got is this Drunk Elephant Night Serum. I love this so much. I had it before. And it's just like my favorite serum, my favorite night serum ever. It's really like cute and I love the packaging. By the way, this is all it comes in, which is pretty great if you ask me. The next thing I got is this Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am obsessed with this. I've been using it for, I've been using it for like two days and it's literally so gorgeous on me it makes me shine bright literally i'm literally like a diamond shine bright like a diamond but yeah so worth it for like what like 40 bucks really worth it so the next thing i got is this kosas plump plus juicy vegan spray on serum i've seen like everyone get this on my for you page um, so you're supposed to spray this um, after your you apply your serum, and it's like really cute. The packaging is really cute. I love the closest writing on it, and yeah. Also, it is a glass like packaging. 
So the next thing I got is this Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. Um, I've seen Katie Fangs use this in a lot of her videos and I just had to get it in my shade. My dog just came in. And I got it in the shade 2N. So it's a really pale concealer because that is what they gave me for my shade. And that is it for my Sephora haul. And thank you guys so much for watching. This was probably like my biggest Sephora haul. And yeah, guys, that is all for this video. If you watch till the end of this video, comment on this video, watch till end. And yeah, bye guys. Let's do the biggest shopping haul ever. Okay, y'all, seriously, I'm super excited to show you guys everything I got. And if that is not the biggest shopping haul you've ever seen, then I do not know what it is. Okay, y'all, to be real with you guys, I never really saw myself doing hauls again just because I was not in a great place. But I'm finally ready to show you guys everything I have. Also, this is everything I'm working with. And please let me know if this gets on anybody's view page. I think I'm shadow banned, so let me know. Starting off strong from Lululemon, I got three pairs of pants and one top. This is the first top. It's so cutie and lime green, and I just feel like it goes with everything. Next from Lululemon, I got a new pair of shorts. This is what they look like. They are so cutie, and I love the beige color. And here is the tag. Because y'all always accuse me of faking my hauls. And lastly, from Lululemon, I got this super cutie pair of ballet joggers. These are seriously the cutest and go with anything. Tank top, sweatshirts, anything. That is all from Lululemon. Let's now move on to Island Outfitters. Next, from Island Outfitters, I got a really cute top. This is what it looks like. It's rainbow and it's just the cutest little thing. Aviator Nation who? Then, starting off strong, I got this super cute pair of shorts. Like, tell me these are not the cutest thing ever. And lastly, from Island Outfitters, I got this super cute tank top that was 50% off. Like, look at how cutie. And then, of course, for some random hauls, I got this super cute pair of shorts from Vineyard Vines. And then I got this super cute top from Reformation. I saw Amanda DeWitt wearing this, and I had to have it. It just screams Aspen Beverly Hills Tennis Mom. Then from Amazon, I got a bunch of things. First thing I got from Amazon is this super group sunscreen. Then I picked up the super gum resetter, which is so amazing because it is basically powder sunscreen. Then I picked up the super group cream. And lastly from super group, I picked up their lip balm. Okay, but seriously, like, look at this glar. Cute! Okay, and then lastly in this absolutely gigantic Amazon box, I got a steamer because I hate wrinkly clothes. Next on Amazon, I saw everybody having these super fun summer crates, so of course I had to get them. Okay, but seriously, you guys, these scream pastel princess Barbie vibes. Then for all the skincare I ordered, I first got the Notorious Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. Then I got the Murad Acne Treatment. The K18 Moisture Mask. This stuff is seriously magic in a bottle. And lastly, the Amika Hydration Serum. Okay, and lastly from Amazon, I picked up another Amazon workout set. These things are seriously the best. That is all from Amazon. Let's now move on to Golden Goose. Okay, y'all, I got my fourth pair of Golden Gooses, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Okay, they're brand new. Okay, for reference, here are my old shoes. And here are the new ones. Like, look at how cutie. Like, I'm honestly so in love, and I love the zebra print. Like, so cute. I'm basically Santa. Okay, oh goodness, don't see my room. My room's a mess right now. Okay, but I have a massive Sephora haul and I feel like Santa Claus with my sack of items, as you can see. Okay guys, I'm gonna teleport into the chair. Ready? Oh, <laughs> see, teleportation. Okay, time for my massive Sephora haul. Okay, so I just got all ready for bed, so we're gonna ignore that I look like a put up little crapling. Okay, the whole time. All right, so first I got Sol de Janeiro 62 because I'm almost out of it, and like I love this scent so much. Wait, I want to unwrap it. It's like really satisfying. Um, okay, never mind. It's ah, <laughs> that's gross. Cute. Okay, next I got Sol de Janeiro 68 because it's also one of my favorite scents from them, so. Also, all the stuff in this haul is, like, collective over time, and I had, like, gift cards and stuff, but I did go a little bit crazy. Okay, I got the Sol de Janeiro, um, Bum Bum Cream. 
like i knew this stuff was big but i didn't know it was this big like this is like a huge poo crap like it's so big but i like it shot Sobe airbrush bronzer in the shade two medium this thing is also very big Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, like, uh, powder, I think, in the shade One Fair. Okay, I kind of pooed up on this one, but this is a polypeptide, drunk open stuff, but I thought it was the, oh my gosh, I thought it was the little one, but it's the big one. Like, it's so freaking big. Like, it's fine. It's fine. I really like it. I just did not realize it was the big one. The Drunk Elephant Glycolic Night Serum. This is what it looks like. The Drunk Elephant um, Sea Farmer Serum. It's like the one where you like make it, like you have to like put the powder in this stuff and like shake it up. Drunk Elephant Protein Power Peptide uh, Research Serum. Um, I got the Save Bronzing Drop. It looks like this. The bottle is like the cutest little thing. Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. It's grapefruit. Um, looks like this. It's really cute. Okay, all I have left is glow. Oh my gosh. My hair is literally pulling away like a freaking crappling like rat turd. Okay, all I have left is glow recipe. And I didn't realize how crazy I went until I put it all together. My bad. Um, the Strawberry Smooth Salad Kit Serum. Famous toner, of course. Eye brightening stuff. More eye stuff, apparently. I didn't know I got two different types of eye stuff. HA Night Treatment. Avocado Recovery Serum. Some Hyaluronic Serum. The nice cinema dew drops, of course, they're like famous, and the packaging is literally so cute. So, had to get that pomegranate firming serum, and that's my haul. Bye bye, guys. Now, I'm gonna teleport back to bed. Did it work? I bought every single product that went viral in 2023, every single one. So, let's go over the products that were actually worth it, and which ones were just not it. Starting off with Sol de Janeiro, honestly. It's a miss for me. I love the smell of 62. Absolutely love. It just doesn't last long enough. And I hated the smell of the Rio Radiance. I This is literally... I, I tried to like it, as you can see, but no. Never using it again. If the 62 lasted longer, I definitely would be a fan, but it doesn't, so... Stay Super Glowy Gel. I'm like, eh, about 50-50. The Sun Glow is not my favorite. I will wear it under foundation if I need to darken up my foundation. I prefer the Star Glow over the Sun Glow, though, because I like to use this as a highlight. But I wouldn't feel like these are, like, the best things that's ever happened in 2023. They're, I'm on the line about them. These, on the other hand, I'm obsessed with the Hourglass Concealer. So full coverage. I'm wearing it right now. I just feel like it's so flawless on the skin. It's so full coverage, but it's not cakey. It doesn't crease. It's not heavy. Honestly, best, one of the best products of 2023. And with the Kosas Concealer, I absolutely love this. I feel like it's perfect for carving out your face, for brightening. I really like these and they are well loved and I've probably gone through like four others. Definitely worth the hype. I think that these were the most popular setting sprays of 2023. You guys know these are my every single day setting sprays. I don't think I can pick one or the other. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury definitely is more like glowy, more hydrating, but the one size waterproof is waterproof like this will make your makeup stay all day i mix these because this one's more dry and this one's more hydrating and together oh my god hey y'all good morning get ready with me while i tell you what to buy at the sephora sale it's monday and i have about 20 minutes the sephora sale started three days ago and ends in about a week so here are my recommendations definitely stock up on your ordinary serums i've used a hyaluronic acid one under my makeup every single day and i love it and also this support serum, I know it's pink and you guys are probably like, she's only buy it up because it's pink. Which like, I'm not going to lie, that is why I bought it, but I've actually loved how it evens out my skin tone. You guys know, anything from Glow Recipe is amazing. I use this moisturizer and I've been using it for like three years. I've literally restocked this like five times. You guys know I'm a Drunk Elephant stan, so of course anything from Drunk Elephant. And I am aware that it's a little bit expensive, so this is the time to stock up. I use the Debronzia and Be Goldie drops. A lot of people actually don't like the Be Goldie drops, but I actually feel like I really like them. Kind of like they add a good like goldy undertone, if that makes any sense. Again, more Drunk Elephant. I think I like their skincare more than their makeup, just because of the quality. This eye cream made me believe in eye creams. Also, how do you guys like my straight hair? I was like, nobody's even gonna recognize me on TikTok because I always have my hair curled. This Dior concealer is probably my favorite concealer I've ever tried. 
it's worth the price tag. Also, tomorrow is Halloween, and me and Tess are going to be, little spoiler alert, we're going to be Sophia, Grace, and Rosie, which is from, like, the Ellen show, if you guys remember that. We're going to wear a roller rabbit PJs, and then on top, we're going to wear um, tutus and tiaras and microphones. Okay, I need to add some color into my face, so I'm going to add these. I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury, like, wands, but I do have to say never take it traveling because it always ends up like that. I love their wands, but honestly, I feel like there are so many dupes out there that you don't really have to buy them, even though I've repurchased them like five times. So. Anyway, everybody comment down below what you guys are being for Halloween. I really want to know. I feel like brushes and eyelash curlers have gotten so much more expensive, so if you're looking into like switching them out, now's the time. And then for lip products, I really recommend the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I love these ones so much, just don't leave it in your car when it's hot. And finally, anything from Summer Fridays because I use this religiously every day. Okay, well, comment down below your recommendations for me and tag me in your hauls. Bye, guys. I love you. I cannot be stopped. I have a Sephora haul. Let's open what we got. Absolute best part about packages is I never remember what I ordered, like, ever. So this is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. I really want to try to soak this up while I'm taking this stuff out because as soon as I've unpackaged this, I'm going to be depressed again. First of all, I got these two little samples. I got the Dermalogica, like, Daily Milk Foliant because I actually have wanted to try this, so I was excited it was a sample. And then I got the Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream whatever you get two free so why not i'm so excited i literally forgot i ordered this stuff and now i am so pumped so the first thing i got was the ysl candy glaze the like clear one i was going back and forth on this for so long because it's literally like 40 dollars. it is a 40 dollar basically lipstick lip gloss stick oh packaging ma'am ma'am okay that's what it looks like it's just like the clear one i think oh let's swatch it yes i paid 40 dollars for nothing no but seriously i think this is gonna be so pretty just on top of like anything and then if i like this i'm gonna get the nude glow one i just really wanted to try the clear one because clear goes with everything i finally got another patrick Todd blush this is the shade she's that girl i've just been seeing it everywhere and it looks so pretty so i finally decided to get another one because i have the shade she's blushing and it's stunning but it's more of a summer color for me so let's see <gasps> When I tell you makeup gives me such a rush, it gives me such a rush. Okay, should we swatch? Let's swatch. So, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be one of everyday blush. I literally am obsessed. I ordered another makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. Here's my first one that I got last year. This is a limited edition palette. I don't know why he does that to us. But I got another one from his website, so I figured I would just throw it in here because why not? And I think they changed the packaging this year, so let's see. Obviously, mine's a little bit dirtier, but they definitely changed the packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but like this has like that there, and that's not on this. And then this, it's just a little bit different. And this one's a little bit smaller just in like size comparison. Is it? Maybe not. I don't know, but you can obviously tell there are some differences. I think they just like made the packaging more sleek, but I am so excited to have a new one. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette I've ever owned. Finally picked up the Refi Cream Bronzer in the shade Sand because a girl I used to watch on TikTok, I can't remember her name. She goes to Ole Miss and she's a makeup artist. But anyways, she talks about this bronzer all the time. She uses shade Tan, but I got like a winter color and I'm just so excited. She said such good things. So I wanted to try a new cream bronzer as if I don't already have enough. Refi kills it with their packaging. It is literally everything to me. Look at that bronzer color. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it's definitely very pale, but this is going to be perfect for like not messing up because sometimes I get really heavy handed with my bronzer in the winter and this is the perfect winter color. Okay, I'm obsessed. Went ahead and got another shade of my Tower 28 Swipe Serum Concealer. This is shade 4.0. I usually use 6.0, but when I got it in my last Sephora haul, it was a little bit dark for me being pale. So I just got this one to have a little bit more of a brightening formula color of this because I love the formula but that color just isn't gonna work all the time yep look at this so pretty perfect shade I saved the best for last I just bought the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I have seen nobody talk about this but it really caught my eye because it has the shade Space Cowboy in it which I wanted to buy anyways but it's literally like a palette of just shimmers so I'm hoping it's not broken because I saw in some reviews that they it comes broken mine is not mine is not look Moment of silence. I am in awe. We have to swatch. That's Star Cowgirl. Obsessed. Space Cowboy. I've always wanted to buy this, but I just couldn't justify spending just $20 on one eyeshadow. So the fact that there's four of these and they're like the perfect shimmer shades is exactly what I needed from Urban Decay. And I haven't bought something from Urban Decay in years. This is Wild Dipper Rides again. I, I'm going to throw up. 
And then that one is Cosmic Space Dust. I honestly probably won't use that one. But these three are literally knocking my socks off. My socks are actually down the street right now. They are, they've run away. They've literally run away by how good this is. And the packaging is just so cute. I cannot wait to travel with this. That's all for the haul. I'm literally so excited to play around with this makeup. I'm going to go take cute little aesthetic pictures of it right now. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's that time of the month again. And no, I don't mean my period. It's my Sephora October gratis haul. Let's unbag it. So listen, my gratis bag for September last month got canceled. And it wasn't just me. It was a few other people that were in my area, like all the full-time beauty advisors. So I wasn't able to record a September gratis haul. I did see a few people asking for it, but I didn't have a bag of gratis to unbag. So, you know, I'm not too salty about it. I've been receiving so much PR and I'm kind of overwhelmed right now with all the products that I have but you know there were a few items that I wanted in that bag and I didn't get it but you know that's okay but I have my October one enough of me rambling let's unbag this bitch okay, the first item I see is this Vanessa Myrick's Grand Work to Funny Neutrals palette I do already have this one so I might give this away to one of my family members but yeah the next item is this <gasps> Dolce Gabbana, the Devotion, the new Devotion fragrance. If you guys have not seen this, this literally looks so pretty. The bottle has like a heart on the front. I'm about to spray this in a little bit. Okay, I'm definitely excited for this next item. These Peace Out Retinol Eye Patches. I heard, I've been hearing really good things about these, so I'm gonna have to try these out as well. I also got the Peace Out Acne Dots. This comes with a 20 pack. I probably will not be using this. Actually, I might because I have been breaking out a little bit my forehead, so actually I might use these this time. I got the Pharmacy Makeup Melting Balm. I love this stuff. It removes all the makeup, so thank you. I got another one. The next item is this Hidden Beauty The Easy Bake a Powder. I already did a review on this. I was not a fan, so I'm probably going to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, honestly. The next item is the Laneige Water Bank Moisturizer. I've tried this a long time ago, so I'll probably keep it. Um, I'm not sure where I'm really going to put it because my skincare drawers are full as fuck right now. I got the Dry Bar Prep Rally, the um, Prime and Prep Detangler. I got a Makeup by Mario Concealer, which I already have all of the other colors whenever he sent them to me in PR, so now I have an extra one. The next item is this Soleil to Jours. It looks like it is an SPF setting spray, which I actually really like SPF setting sprays because you can easily reapply this over your makeup um, every two hours if you need to, so thank you. The next item is this Hourglass Concealer. I do like the coverage that this gives, but I do not like the smell. It has a very weird smell, but I do like how it looks on the skin. I got this Kosas Cloud Set um, Micro Powder. I got the shade Airy. This Paula's Choice Moisturizer. I actually just also got this in PR, so I'll probably give this one to my family members. This mini Velospa candle. I'll probably light this up right now. This is in the scent Noble for Garlands. I got this Grande Brow Serum. I have been using the last year. I've been loving it. I got this Freck Beauty Soft Blur Lipstick and this Urban Decay Eyeliner. This is in the shade Zero, just like a black liner. I got this Kali Ray Lip and Cheek um, kind of blush, lippy kind of deal. Mm, that's like a really pretty color. I might use that on my lips whenever I do my makeup next. And last but not least, the last two items. I got this Amy Cole Concealer and a little mini by the fireplace fragrance. I'm probably going to give this to my grandma because she loves this scent so much. So I'm just going to give this to her. And that was everything I got in this October gratis bag. I think I'm most excited about this Dolce Gabbana Devotion fragrance. I've smelled it in store. It kind of smells like an orange blossom kind of smell. But I think I'm also mainly just obsessed with the bottle. Just so looks so pretty and i can't wait to try it i hope you all did enjoy this october goddess haul let me know if you have tried out any of these products and what you think about them or if you are gonna buy them also let me know as well um love you guys and i'll catch you all in the next video bye for a haul i have a challenge i need to get all the viral products especially the say super glow gel by the end of the week i'm gonna show you guys if i actually ended up getting it today okay but the first thing i'm gonna start with is the Dior blush, which has been really popular lately. It's in the shade Cherry, which is a really pretty shade. It had this one and one more, and after that, they were all gone, so it's really pretty. It looks so cool. And just so you know, Sephora is literally all that I spend on right now, so all my money goes to Sephora. I'm not buying anything else. But the next thing I got from Dior is the Dior lip oil. It's also in the shade Cherry, so these two things are gonna match. Like, yes, it was expensive, but I think it's worth it. Like, 
I even want to try it on right now. So good. Then I got something from Low Recipe, which is this lip plumper. And honestly, look at the results. They seem promising. I love Low Recipe. I just never tried their lip plumper. Looks like it's actually going to work. I trust Low Recipe. Okay, so it's just this like lip plumper container. Can't wait to use it. Then I finally got the Tower 28 um, cream. I have a set now. I have the spray, the serum, and the cream. It's the daily recovery cream. Everyone loves this, and I think I'm going to love it too. Ooh, next, I'm super excited for this is the Patrick Ta bronzer that is one of the best bronzers out there. I love Patrick Ta. I got their blush recently. It has two parts to it, cream bronzer and the powdered one. This is in the shade She Sculpted Medium. Another thing from Patrick Ta is the lipstick. I'm really excited for this one because it looked so good on the tester when I tried it on. In the shade, oh, she's single. Look how pretty this is. Amazing. Then I had to get this super goop glow sunscreen because I'm out of my sunscreen and sunscreen is the most important part of skin care. In the shade Golden Hour, so it like gives you that golden look which I'm vibing. Then I had to get the dry shampoo because, you know, we all have those days we need a dry shampoo. Amika one is the most popular dry shampoo out there. This is one of my favorite things. This is the Hourglass Blush. Looks amazing. Look at it. You mix it and it gives you this perfect shade. So cool. It's gorgeous. And it was in a shade Luminous Flush. I have to hurry up. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer because I needed a normal concealer. I don't have like a good concealer that covers all my dark circles under the eyes. It says it's in the shade 2N. And I got something from Rare Beauty, which is this just black simple mascara because I needed a mascara. The popular... Elia mascara was sold out, so I had to go with the Rare Beauty, and I think this one's gonna work pretty well too. And they gave me these like clips. I'm gonna be using this in my Get Ready With Me's. And the thing we've all been waiting for, the Stay Super Glowy Gel, but it's not the one that I'm looking for. It's in the shade Star Glow, and the one everyone wants is in the shade Sun Glow, so unfortunately, I didn't get it this time, but I have a goal. I need to get it by the end of the week. You guys know I'm not giving up. Just a bit lighter. Doesn't give you that bronze look. So I'm going to be on the hunt for the rest of the week, and I need to complete this challenge, so stay tuned. Hey guys, come to Sephora with me. We're here for the new Sol de Janeiro fragrances. I'm so excited to smell all of them. Surprisingly, I really didn't like this first one. It was way too sweet. Um, that This one was okay, and my favorite one was actually Bikini Season but none of them enough for me to buy. I absolutely fell in love with the Rio Radiance. However, I ended up actually grabbing the large size and the small one for this one. Next, you guys know I got this Tatcha Serum during the sale and I've been loving it. Then at the Jisoo, I really wanted their hair perfume and there was literally one left, so I had to get it. Um, can't wait to try it. Um, then in Glow Recipe, it's looking so pretty. Let me show you a couple things that I love. This, this amazing the cleansing balm so slept on and this cleanser is something i really want to try the drunk elephant was a little bit of a mess as per usual i really want to try their ceramide eye balm uh charlotte tilbury display oh always so pretty i wish then on my way out i spotted the new summer friday's lip balm so i had to get this color they always get me here go to let's go to sephora so i can spoil my niece and buy her everything she ever wanted first i got this tatcha face wash this is my favorite it's the deep cleanse and i'm out of it so we're gonna do a little restock next up my niece found this sol de janeiro minis and you get all three moisturizers for 38 as well as her favorite highlighter from refi she loves the freck and refi section very gen z of her i wanted this contour stick so bad but they were sold out but i did pick up the refi face primer that you guys put me on to and then we were gonna get this refi powder but we were like, eh, never mind. I feel like we don't need it. We went to Glossier. This is a Gen Z heaven for Erin to get her favorite face wash. And then she talked me into getting some lip balms. She got the mango one. I got the rose. And this is really yummy. So I was happy we got this. The gloss was 14. She wanted the full size in this Marc Jacobs fragrance, but they only had the mini. So we ended up getting the mini. And then she wanted a good cream blush. So I took her over to Tower 28 and she found this beautiful pink in Happy Hour. Then we headed all over to Fenty and we wanted this matchstick, this trending so bad but of course it was sold out so it's not coming home with us today i picked up some extra lash glue because i'm always running out of that and we checked out and that's all we got thank you guys for shopping with us and i love you guys
I've been spending $500 today. Proud of myself. Let's go Sephora shopping. I'm so excited. I've been seeing this gloss balm heat from Fenty all over and hot cherry and hot chocolate. So um secured. Everybody has been talking about the setting powder from one size. So I got a mini translucent one to try. And I don't need anything from Rare Beauty, but I feel like every time I pass by this gondola, I just have to stop and pay my respects. Then I walked past House Labs. I already have this concealer, but if you haven't tried it already, you need to. Also, their lip oil is so good. And then I walked past my current favorite moisturizer from charlotte tilbury it's transformed my skin i love it so much then i decided to look at some blushes of course i was debating between this patrick ta one and she's giving or a danessa myricks one not sure let me know in the comments i've been meaning to try out merit forever so i finally picked up one of their blushes so excited to make a try on video for that one and here's me trying to walk to the checkout not looking at anything else because i don't need anything else i don't need and it and the little minis by the checkout they tried me this time they didn't get me though they didn't get me got my goodies and i decided to actually go to lululemon right after so we made some damage but i'm excited to show i just went to sephora and i'm just gonna do a little unboxing for you guys i picked up two new things that i've never used before which is kind of scary but i needed a new under eye concealer and i needed some more blush also i got two other things but boring things um i love this melting bomb it's literally 12 dollars um, you bought two things um they were having a deal that it was like 10 percent off so i got the hyaluronic acid serum i heard that this works better than chia butter for my stomach for stretch marks so that's why i got it two things i'm really excited um i got the huda beauty the faux filter luminous matte concealer got this for my under eyes and i got it in the shade cotton candy i don't like my under eyes too crazy white yeah that looks like perfect so i got this i've been wanting this blush for like months the patrick ta double take cream and powder blush was gonna get the super pink one but it's gonna be fall soon so this is beautiful first off um oh my gosh look at that like a color for like the fall winter season got those four things the concealer was 31 and the blush was 36 so i really hope i like the blush because holy crap <laughs> Hey, me and my friend Dana have a challenge to get a full face of makeup at Sephora, but we only have five minutes, and whatever we find, we have to keep. There's no going back. So the timer started, and we ran. Since we needed the full face of makeup from beginning to end, I went to Glow Recipe to look for their viral toner as a base for my makeup. But it turns out they were sold out, so I had to find an alternative, and I got this primer instead. Meanwhile, Dana was also looking for her first thing, and she started off with foundation, and she was already a step ahead of me. So she was looking at the Fenty one, and also the gloss balm for the lips. While my my brain was completely blank, but I remembered about foundation as well. So I went to Charlotte Tilbury and tried to find my shade of the flawless filter, but it was not easy doing that in a rush. So I just grabbed it and hoped it was the one. But Dana moved on to the milk aisle and she was really fast. Things were going really well for her so far. She got herself a lip plumper, a blush, and an eye brightener. But I was running since we had three minutes left and I only had the primer and foundation. So I got this rare beauty highlighter and then I bumped into Dana and she was already choosing her eye makeup. She got the brow pencil, brow gel, also the highlighter and mascara. I needed something for my lips, so I grabbed the Fenty Gloss Balm. Then I had to hurry up and get a bronzer, and I didn't have time to choose a shade, so I just got this one. For the blush, I just went to Hourglass because they didn't have the Rare Beauty one, and this was a really pretty shade, so I decided to get it. Dana's basket was looking full, and she got herself a few more bronzers, an eyeshadow palette, and she came back and got the Milk Primer and Setting Spray. But I forgot about the most important thing, the mascara. I had one minute left, and I had to run to the other end of the store to get it. And in the remaining 25 seconds, I still needed to get a Beauty Blender, so so I grabbed that. Five seconds left and Dana got herself a set of brushes. Time's up and now we can take a deep breath. These are our baskets and we're doing a haul soon. Get every product that I want. It's the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. I got 20% off, so let's go do some damage. Before this ends, you guys guess how much damage I'm gonna do. Definitely need a basket today. First up, this Fenty blush brush and the cream blush in Riri. It's the last one. They used both of them on me at the Fenty event last week and I was like, I need. Do I need another brush? I have millions of brushes. Am I gonna get it anyway? Yeah. And the new eavesdrop stick is freaking amazing. I have it on today. It is a skin tint in a stick. It blends in like butter. You feel like you have nothing on your face. The new Cali Ray lip and cheek stain was not on my list. That is really pretty. I think this needs to come home with me. A little upsetting. I thought I was getting lucky and getting the new Sol de Janeiro after hour scent, but they only have a tester left. Now, do I need another moisturizer? No.
And I have been influenced to get the new Summer Fridays cushion cream. I have seen so many videos about this. I just put it on my hand. It feels lovely. I think it's going to be good under makeup. Go buy anything if it says that it helps with your pores. Did they just turn up the volume? It's so fucking loud in here. Stick form. You can use this as a scrub or a mask. Going back and forth if I should grab this. Like I have 10 bottles of shampoo and conditioner at home, but I really want to try this. I used this the other night. I woke up to like the softest, shiniest hair and manageable curls. Skipping the shampoo and conditioner, but I am going to restock on my dry shampoo. I'm going to try this mini of the Color Wild hair mask. 153.52, but I had a gift card, so it was only 110.66. You know, girl math, that uh, gift card is like free money. I convinced my mom to take me to Sephora, so let's do a Sephora haul. First step, glue a recipe. Then I brought a new foundation brush. And from Charlotte Tilbury, we have this eyeshadow. I'm going to show you guys. These colors are so cute. I'm so excited to try it out. Then we have the bronzer, and it's the sh it's in the shade tan. We got the mini one because they didn't have a big one, so we just got this mini one just like to try it out. Then we have the Anastasia brow gel. I'm so excited to try this out. Bronzing brush in 80. Then in the next bag, this is my mom's favorite foundation and also has sunscreen. Next is a new eyelash curler because I really needed one. Have the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Believe. And also from Rare Beauty, we have the highlighter. This is so pretty, I'm so excited to try it. We have a lip plumper from Pratchett Ta, and I will show you guys. The color is gorgeous. And this gloss is lovely. Bye guys. Hey guys, I have a haul. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first we went to Sephora. Um, and basically I had a $25 gift card, so I got like three things. The first thing I got was this Glow Recipe toner because I had the mini one and it's like my favorite thing ever and I ran out. So I got the big one. It's like huge. Okay, and then the next thing I got was the Brazilian Crush Cream in set 40. Because this is my favorite scent and I'm trying to get like all the stuff that they make in it. Oh, and then also, um, I had points, so they gave me this, like, little mini Lene thing, and it's so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, next is Altered State. So, basically, what I got was this, like, candle that has glitter on it. I'm literally obsessed with this candle, and I've had my eye on it for so long, and then I just saw it in the sales section, so I had to get it. So, yeah, that's my haul. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, come shopping with me at Sephora. I have not been here in so long, so you know I had a whole list of things I need to grab. First things first, I saw this Jisoo lip oil. I've been wanting to try this. Somebody please tell me, is it worth it or not? They also didn't have a price, so I thought that was weird. Next, I went over to the Tower 28 display. One thing that I really wanted was a clear lip gloss from them. I have a lip gloss in the shade Sesame, but I really just want a clear one that I can wear every day on top of just a really basic color. Next, I had to check out their Swipe Concealer. I have been wanting to try this for so long, and I was going to buy it, but I bought a bunch of other stuff, so you'll see later in the video I put it back. And then I saw this JLo Beauty display. I was really intrigued. I've never seen this before, but if you've tried any of the products, let me know if they're good or not. And then I went over to the Say display. They were totally out of the Sun Glow Drops. I've been looking for these for forever. And then I went over to Rare Beauty. I've been wanting to try their Under Eye Brightener. I decided to get it in the shade Light. I found a different display of Say products, and they actually had one sun glow left, so you know I immediately threw that in my basket. And then I made my way over to the Glossier display. One of my friends has this Glossier cloud paint in the shade Puff, and I tried it, and I absolutely loved it, so I decided to get one of those. And then here's proof of me putting the Tower 28 concealer back. Another item on my wish list is this Amika Velveteen Dream line. I saw a hairstylist on TikTok recommend it and I was really interested, but I'm going to wait till my shampoo and conditioner runs out first. And then I currently use the Amika Leave-In Conditioner. I didn't realize that they had this oil, so if you've used this, please let me know if it's worth it or not. I currently use the Jisoo hair oil that I actually really like. And then I made my way up to the register. Here's a little sneak peek at my basket and my friend Emily's basket. And then while waiting in line, I saw that they were actually fully stocked of these mini Say bronzy drops. And then here's a little sneak peek of everything that I bought. Go check out my haul video. Hi guys, I have a haul from Sephora. So first, I got this quartzite toner from Glow Recipe. I was actually so surprised to have this in stock. I'm really happy. Next, moving on, I got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got it in mango color and it smells so good and fresh. I love it. I also 
looks really shiny on your lips, which I really like. Next, we have the Ordinary Maximide 10% uh, Zinc 1% Serum. I got it in the mini. I have the mini, but I'm almost running out, so this is my second bottle. Moving on. We have the Rio Radiance Perfume from Sol de Janeiro. This has to be so good. I really like it. So it took a bit of time to, I guess, break them out, but that's fine. So next, I still have a mist from Sol de Janeiro. This is the 60 Genius It Smells Collection. I love it. So, there we are. Now again, the mist is like kind of hard to see. Okay, next, I have the Mario Badescu Spray. Um, the lavender one, it's 118 milliliters, so the mini And then I got some samples from Cool Recipe. So there's a strawberry serum, the plump, oh, no, the moisturizer, and the plump plump serum. Bye guys! Hope you enjoy! Haul time! Okay guys, so I have a Sephora haul, and I wouldn't say it's a massive Sephora haul, but they did give me a big bag, so it is pretty good, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I moved my hair out of the way because it's bothering me, but it was the grand opening of the new, like, Sephora that's, like, near me, so yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. So the first thing I picked up was this Fruit Babes Glow Recipe mini set. I love Glow Recipe and I'm going on a trip soon, so I needed their minis. And then the next thing I got is this Summer Fridays Lip Butter. Hold on, let me see if I can get it open. I wanna like open it and show y'all. So here it is. I've wanted to try this for so long, but every time I go, it's always sold out. So I'm very excited I found that. Then the next thing I got is the Ilia Limitless Splash mascara i had the mini but then i lost it so of course i had to pick up the big one this is bigger than i expected i didn't know it was gonna be that big then the next thing i got is this say beauty like serum foundation and i would open this but it is taped and i don't feel like attempting to get that off right now so i got that and i got it in shade three and then, I'm so excited I found this. Like, I actually, like, was not okay when I saw this. I got the Sol de Janeiro um, perfume in bikini season. And I'm so, like, surprised they had this. Because these things are, like, limited edition. And they also had the blue one. But I didn't really... It wasn't my favorite. So I just went with the orange one. And the next two things I got were the Pureology shampoo and conditioner minis because i've really wanted to try these for a while so i'll see if i like them and i'll let y'all know and then of course who can go to sephora without picking a couple of these up and then since it was like their grand opening thing they gave us a couple little like of the sephora collection freebies so i didn't know the camera did that anyway so yeah that's all i got at sephora and they had a couple things like, there was a couple things that they didn't have there that I wanted. So, I currently have, like, three Sephora boxes coming. So, I'm very excited about that. And there will be a haul when those come. But that's all. Bye, guys. All closes in 30 minutes, but I need stuff from Sephora, and I also want to do more shopping, so let's go. The fact that it's 8.17, and the sun is just setting now, makes my heart so happy. Oh my god. Hello. Um, okay, mood. I want these. These are so cute. No. You guys. Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're on the way. We're almost there. Oh my god, Licenza is still a thing. Look at how pretty the store is. Oh my god, yes, I'm so excited. Hi. Thank you. I'm getting this. I need it. Ooh, these are all matte. I want happy. Do I have happy? I don't know. Doesn't matter because they don't have it. Oh my god, Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Hot Cherry. I need this. <laughs> Yay. Have you guys tried this yet? Yeah. 
different, very like, very musky. I don't know. Oh yeah, I need concealer. Okay. I forgot. Look at this. This is my shade. Woohoo! Yeah, and I need cleansing balm. Yay, this one is my fave. I'm with this beautiful, gorgeous angel from Sephora. Hello. Do you want to say anything to the TikTok world? Um. <laughs> you don't have to you say putting anything. me on the spot. I know. Do I live in Calgary? Yeah. So cute. What else do we need? A new beauty blender? Yeah. Oh my god, I want these so bad. I'm about to spray every single one right now. I don't care. This one is the pistachio gelato. Actually, not bad. <laughs> Let's try this one. This one is burning cherry. I don't know. <laughs> Vanilla cocoa. Mmm, I like this one. The by Killian scents are my all time favorite. Mm -mm, I don't like that one. But this one, Love by Killian, is the best perfume that I own. It smells so good. Oh my god, this is iconic. I don't think I like that one either. I just sprayed on so much perfume. We did it. Two on taking my sister on her birthday spree. Oh. Uh, this is the second twin, the youngest of the, the family, the braider. Oh wow, they restocked oh, everything. everything. She just got her birthday nails done. I'm gonna start off with the rare beauty. Let's just see what they got. I'm gonna have to call the other twin because this is exactly what she wanted. I haven't heard a lot about their foundation, but their concealer, I love it. You came on a good day. This one is so bright. She get one of these. Shut up. No, it is not. It's all restocked, and this is exactly what I want. I had to. I had. Look at this. They're all restocked on the say blush. Ooh. Yeah. Do they have a mascara? What? Look, I need mascara. Whoa. I've never seen it restocked like this. After the Sephora sale, they were like, bring out the box. <laughs> Ding. Listen, they're all restocked. Also, these are all restocked. Which one do you want? When you came, everything was out of stock. I saw this girl I use it. So. I'm gonna smell it and see if I like it. These Mario palettes. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. Please come, let me show you something. Try these bronzers. <laughs> Smooth like butter. The Fenty 3D Sparkle for the face and body. body. Let's see. The <gasps> How are they out? This section again. We're back and we're gonna give you a little Sephora haul. I got some stuff too because I couldn't help, I couldn't resist. Last time I went, I was holding back. I've been really wanting the Fenty mascara. Let's see how it goes. You know, I didn't even know Fenty had mascara until like last week. And then I got the Fenty lip gloss, Fenty Glow. An eyebrow pencil, the Sephora eyebrow pencil in the shade Ebony. Ebony. Oh my gosh, I was so, oh, actually I'm gonna save the best for last. Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury setting, setting spray. spray. Who bet that my life day. on this? I am so excited for this product. The Benefit Skin Tint. Ah! The sun is gonna ah. use the first. Ooh, it's light. You see these? The tint is like it's everyday wear. I got the Rio Radiance Sol de Janeiro. It smells like, like sunshine, vacation, and rain. coconut. It smell <laughs> like your dreams. It's the end of my birthday Sephora shopping spree. Happy ah. birthday, girly. 19, yeah, 19, 19. Oh.